My name is Ryan McGinn. Last year, I took a one semester lab course at one of the nation's elite graduate programs. I learned a lot from my experience. And I became a master of my craft. Of course, I completed Yushikaga's experimental physics requirement, top marks. Now, I'm using the knowledge that I've acquired to promote the physical sciences and improve experimental physics education. This is Ryan for you. UChicago has not introduced a new Physics 334 lab experiment in decades and runs the risk that students won't take it seriously. Today, I'll be meeting with UChicago's lab coordinator, Van Bistro, to breathe life back into 334 and bring it into the 21st century. I'm going to be proposing a modified stern grok experiment. Okay. And this is a great one because students get to investigate the discrete nature of spin. But what makes my experiment unique is that I'm going to have two magnetic fields and two streams of particles. Mm -hmm. So for that, we're going to need to use two Helmholtz coils to create these fields. They're going to be collinear here, but the magnetic fields are going to be pointing in opposite directions so that we can cancel the dipole fringing fields around the edges of the Helmholtz coils. Mm -hmm. Okay, eventually we're going to need to collect the particles on a screen, which are going to represent over here with this semicircular object. Mm -hmm. And when particles interact with the screen, we're going to need to read out that data on some fiber optics mm -hmm. of some kind. Okay, then finally, we're going to need a stream of particles to send through the magnetic fields. So we're going to have one stream here and one stream here. Uh. Hold it. Uh, I think this is starting to look more like biology than physics. I haven't finished my diagram uh, yet. Though. I know, but uh, I think probably we should just move on. Uh, okay, if you think so. Yeah. As we both know, funding is really important for doing science. But something that our experimental program is not doing is preparing students for funding problems. So what I propose is the MacGyver experiment. In this experiment, students will try to build a physics project out of what they have in their own pockets. Okay? <laughs> so, let's do a MacGyver experiment right now. Could you please empty your pockets? <laughs> okay. What do we have? What do we have? Alright, all right, we've got some keys. We've got some keys, okay. And an old ass cell phone, okay. A comb, I got a dollar. I can buy something with that. And a roll of tape. Tape? All right, what can we do with this? Uh, well, let's see. I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> There's the old tissue paper mm -hmm. comb trick. Do you know yeah, how to do that? what are you doing? <laughs> you make a kazoo. That's great. That's like an acoustics <laughs> experiment yeah, It's kind something. of acoustics, yeah. Right. Awesome. Oh, oh, the most important thing. Here's a credit card. We can buy equipment with that. Okay, and I don't think that that was such a great idea. Let's just, you know, put everything back in our pockets, okay? Um, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, oh. do, you, do you have my credit card? Uh, no. No? Uh, I thought we paid our TAs well enough that they didn't have to... It's, a MacGyver, to it's just the MacGyver experience. You know, what happens, happens. <laughs> is that what it is? Okay. Well, okay, so use the card for a month, and when you're done with it, just bring it back. Okay. As a grad student, dental insurance can be very expensive. So what I'm proposing is a dental x-ray experiment for your 334 students. In this experiment, students will scatter x-rays off of my back right molar in order to you know, see how it's doing. It's actually kind of hurting a little bit. You want to oh, take a look? Sure, let's just uh, hang on, hang on. It's kind of hurting. Yeah, get, out my, yeah, yeah, get in there. Yeah. Oh, I see the problem, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we can probably take care of that. All right, cool. Okay, so just put your head here. We'll try to do the x-raying and see if we can see that tooth. Okay, maybe if I just force this down, I can get the machine started. Okay, I guess, okay, here. 
The physics department at the University of Chicago has an excellent academic reputation, but one thing that we lack being on the south side of Chicago is street cred. Inspired by the success of the rap group NWA, I'm proposing the Straight Outta Compton experiment. So what's, what's NWA? In this experiment, students are going to complete the classic Compton experiment. In, in addition to that though, they're going to be practicing their freestyle rapping. Since you're going to be the leader of the experiment, I was hoping that you could give us a freestyle rap right now. Uh. <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. Go. I'm just going to I'm just going to come in. I'm just going to give you a beat and you just come in whenever you're ready, okay? All right, let's get into character. Are you ready? Uh, you uh, All right, we got Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Okay. All right. We got Big Man Van on the mic. He's about to drop a hot freestyle off the top of the dome. Ready? Three, two, one, go. You want me to rap? You call me rather hat. List. I'd rather take a nap. Now. Nice. That was sick. Give me some juice, man. Boom. <laughs> so, uh, overall, what did you think of my experiments? Well, Ryan, we... We appreciate student input, but I have to tell you, with all due respect, every single one of your ideas just completely sucks swamp water. So I don't have time for this. Hi, Ryan. Hi, man. How you doing? Fine, thanks. So I think we can both agree that yesterday one of us is being very unprofessional and wasting the other person's time. So I think you owe me an apology. Uh, yeah. Uh, about about that swamp water part, uh, I'm not sure I'm the one who owes you the apology. I you know what? Okay. Yeah. Let's not dwell on mistakes in the past. Let's just move on. I'm for that. Okay. Okay. So uh, you don't have to do this, but um, sometimes when I help people out, they get a gift for me. You know, as a thank you. So you know, if you have one for me, now would be the time. <laughs> uh, well, a gift for you. Um, uh, it's it's okay if you don't have one. We actually paired one in this situation, so I'm going to go get it and then, um, you know, you can give it to me, like, on camera. Is oh, that okay? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, so. All right. Uh, here it is. I'm just going to come back in and, and you know, um, okay. uh, oh, hi, hi, man. How's it going? Oh, fine, thanks. How are you doing? I'm, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? You know, in appreciation for our interviews yesterday, I, I thought maybe it would be appropriate if I gave you a little gift. So, oh, wow. That's very um, thoughtful of you. Thank you. Sure, Ryan. I hope wow. you enjoy it. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, wow. You got me a set of nail clippers? Why did you get me uh, that? Well, when you first shook my hands, I noticed there was a uh, little sharp oh, stuff hitting um, my hand, so I thought perhaps it would be... Okay. Uh, these are kind of dirty. Did you use these, or just, are these yeah, new? Well, just a little bit. Uh, I mean, I, I want to try them out, make sure they worked well before I gave yeah. them. So um, I yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you for the very thoughtful gifts. You're welcome. And you know, I hope that my uh, experiment pitches really will help you out in the future. Uh, they they have a small chance of doing that. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Full pouch. Okay. It may seem like my innovative proposals fell on blind eyes to them. But I'm reminded that many great scientific ideas were not appreciated in their time. Heliocentrism, evolution, dental x-ray diffraction. It was clear that Van learned a lot from me today, even though he refused to put it in writing. Maybe even I learned something from him. Having taught Van everything that I know, I'm ready to move on. Although it's bittersweet to part with a new friend. It's time for me to share my gift with the world.